most amazing artist. It's Mr. Hurlbert, and today we are making a fun travel drawing. Summer is coming. Um, we are only, this is one of your last lessons. It's this week and next week, so that's it until for the end of the year. And so I'm super excited to dive in with our fun activity for today. You are imagining a place, if you could go to anywhere in the world, where would it be? And you are going to draw a picture of that place. So I'm drawing digitally again. I've been painting digitally on my tablet or my iPad ever since quarantine started. And I've been practicing and practicing, and I think I'm getting pretty good at it. Um, I'm really enjoying it. If you have an iPad, I would encourage you to try it out. So anyways, that's my choice of medium today. You could choose um, paint, you could choose crayons, you could choose colored pencils, you could choose markers, you could choose to collage, anything that you would like to do for your artwork today. Now, I've already started mapping out my drawing. I did a quick sketch and then I colored in the sky and now I'm adding my shades and my highlights. As you can see, I'm doing a drawing of the Great Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. Um, the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx are located in Cairo, Egypt, and I would love to travel there someday. I would be so excited if I had the opportunity to see them. Ever since I was a little kid, I was obsessed with Egypt. I wanted to go see the pyramids. I wanted to learn everything about Egypt. In fact, at one point I thought I wanted to be an archaeologist. That's someone that goes and digs up artifacts and finds things from ancient cultures for us to study and look at. So here's my beautiful painting slash drawing, digital painting slash drawing, and I've added all my colors and now I'm just going in and adding some interesting kind of rock textures. I'm changing my brush style to go through and add highlighted and shaded lines to kind of bring everything together and uh, create those small little details in the image that are really going to make the Sphinx looks like, look like the Sphinx, the rocks look like rocks, and the pyramids look like the pyramids. As you can see, I've added the highlights on the nose and the eyes. I'm doing very simple, almost in a way like abstract, really just natural expressive painting with the digital tools. I thought this was really cool because in a way it acted like oil paint and it was layering really nice. And that's it. This is my final drawing. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm super excited to see the travel drawings that you create and where you would like to travel to someday. See y'all later. Bye.